Hi, Scorpios. Hello, hello. Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back. I thank you guys so, so much for joining me in this reading. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. Happy first of the month, March the 1st, 2023. Are you guys excited? We are in our third month of 2023. So we're going to get into this reading. I don't know for sure what is going to come out, guys. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Definitely hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. Keep in mind that if you are a cross watcher watching for a Scorpio, the roles can be reversed. He can be a she, she can be a he, okay? All right, so I am using the Serendipity Tarot card, the misdemeanor deck from Ashley. Definitely check her out. She has a beautiful soul, guys. Let her know that Tasha sent you from into the Scorpio Tarot, okay? All right, guys. So we are going to get into this message here, guys. All right. So Holy Spirit, ancestors, spirit guys of love and light, universe. I call upon you into this reading. I welcome you into this reading to bring peace, clarity to the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let no weapon form against me or my Scorpio stinger shall prosper. I speak of peace, love, and light into each and every one that is watching this video today. In Jesus' name, and it is so. Amen and amen. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages for my fellow Scorpios. All right, guys. We're going to clear the energy. All right, babes. Let's get into this as we let the solo, the palo Santo burn. And I do have an incense burning over here to bring us positive energy. All right. All right, so <clears throat> let's get into this, guys. Holy Spirit, what is the message? Oops, <laughs> my hand slipped, guys. All right, show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what I need to see. One last shuffle. All right. Show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit, for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. <clears throat> All right, babes, let's get into this. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. All right. What is the energy? Thank you. We have rebirth, resurrection, revival, renewal, okay? So some of you guys are going through the death and the rebirth. That is Scorpio energy. A lot of you guys could have resurrect, resurrected your soul, went through a spiritual awakening, gave you some clarity, some insights, okay? We have separation, severing ties, broken bond, and distrust. So a lot of you guys have could have went through a death and a rebirth, Transform your energy after a separation, divorce, or a breakup from someone. Okay. Possibly, I'm also getting that there could be a union that could be going through a renewal. Okay. Maybe things are coming back together. Everyone has given their life to God or everyone has went through some type of revival within their energy, cleansing their energy as well. All right. Tell me more for Scorpio. Or like I said, you know, since there was a separation, you guys have went through a renewal period, cleansing, doing spiritual baths, cutting cords, cutting ties, rebirthing yourself, shedding off the old skin into the new skin. Okay. And maybe you had to sever ties with someone since you've given your life to God, or you just went through a deep spiritual cleansing, forgiving yourself. Okay. All right. Tell me more. Or, like I said, you know, there's a relationship that's going to be revived after a separation, okay? Tell me more for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hang on one second, guys. Tell me more. Thank you. So we have two cards. We have loss, which talks about suffering, mourning, grieving. Mm -hmm. 
Then we have effort, foundation, solidarity, and groundwork. Oh, wow. All right. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have abandonment, desertion, stranded, and neglected. Oh, wow. So... A lot of you guys are grieving a separation, but there's someone, this could be you or your person, someone is wanting to put in the work, someone is wanting to solidify the relationship, make the effort, rebuild the foundation. Someone is definitely sad here. I'm getting guilt, remorse, and regret type of energy, the five of cups. Someone is suffering without you. Someone is mourning the loss of you. This could be you and your person. Wow. Also with that rebirth card, I'm getting that things have came to an end, which caused you guys to separate and someone is feeling the loss of you or you're feeling the loss of them. But now someone is wanting to make the effort. But I'm getting some of you guys have abandoned this relationship because someone possibly was stubborn. Excuse me, guys. They were very inflexible, unyielding, very rigid here. There was a lot of turmoil, chaos and trouble with turbulence here. Wow. Hmm. All right, so we're going to get into tarot and see what else do we need to know. But someone is definitely grieving the loss of a relationship here. The separation caused a lot of sadness, depression, anxiety, crying I'm getting. Hmm. All right, let's get into this, guys. Let's get more energy. All right. <clears throat> Wow, the bond has definitely was broken between you guys. I'm getting there possibly was no trust between you and this person. Hmm. A lot of push and pull energy. But someone walked away. Someone abandoned, neglected the relationship. And now I'm getting someone is wanting to put in the work now. Rebuild the foundation. Starting from the bottom, working your way back up. All right, so let's see. Tell me about rebirth. Tell me more about the situation. We have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. And of course, that is Shadow in the background. <laughs> All right, tell me more about this situation, Holy Spirit. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you guys are in this Queen of Swords energy. You are powerful. You are standing up for yourself. You're not taking no crap. You said what you said. Meant what you said. You're setting healthy boundaries for yourself. You've been through so much and now... You feel as though you have to protect yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Look at there. Ten of swords in reverse. You're healing. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So some of you guys can have Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini somewhere within your chart. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. So you guys are non-emotional right now. Hmm. You may have fallen out of love with this person. This person could have been emotionally manipulative towards you. But I'm getting you guys have some unfinished business here. Yeah. So one by one with the Ten of Swords, each sword that was put into your back from this relationship for what happened between you guys, you are trying to rebirth yourself, claim, reclaim your power, resurrect your energy, get rid of the old, bring in the new, renewing your spirit by setting healthy boundaries, standing up for yourself. Getting out of your heart and being more logical in the situation. And you're doing what you have to do to heal every sword that was thrown in your back. At this moment, you know, the worst is already over, Scorpio. You know? It was a very, very painful ending. But you're healing day by day, one by one. Yeah. All right. Tell me more for Scorpio. We have the Ten of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. This was a separation between a family. Yeah. The Hierophant here in the reverse. Taurus energy. So this was a family tie that you have with this person. You may have also felt like this person was your true love. You could have had kids with this person. But the reason why you guys could have separated from this person is because maybe you feel like they were a cheater. They were unfaithful. And you don't feel like you guys can move forward with the death card. This is you, Scorpio energy. Hmm. You just feel like this person is not willing to do the work. So this is why you're blocking off your energy. See, you are doing the work with the rebirth card. You're going through your transformation. 
but maybe you're feeling like this person's not willing to go through the transformation with you. So you had to sever ties, separate yourself from someone you felt like was your true love and set boundaries because you feel like this person was unfaithful. They could have cheated here. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Hmm. You just don't feel like they're willing to change their ways to make things better. And this calls you to isolate yourself from this person with the Hermit card in the reverse. Virgo energy. Tell me more. Tell me more for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me more for Scorpio. Tell me more. Now there's a loss in a love situation. Suffering, sadness, depression, anxiety, possibly crying. We have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. A lot of you guys, you felt the loss. You grieve. You took your time. You accepted the loss of this relationship. And now you're not feeling that same chemistry that you once had with this person. The fire, the passion, the chemistry has burnt out. Okay. With the four of pentacles in the reverse, you have several ties with this person. Like the separation card says, you released and let it go. Even though you were sad, you were grieving over this loss. You just had to do what you had to do. Set strong boundaries. Be direct and firm with your communication. Stand up for yourself. Even though you felt the loss of this relationship, you had to release and let it go. You may not have wanted to, but you had no choice. Because you may have felt like this person was very unfaithful to you non-committal give me the final two cards for this reading holy spirit for scorpio yeah you're just not feeling it anymore so you had to let them go even though it hurt and you grieve the loss of this person that you felt like was your ten of cups your happily ever after you just feel like at this time i have to protect myself i have to stand up for myself and heal i have to release and let you go even though it hurts i'm suffering i have grief the loss of this relationship, but I have to do what I have to do. Give me the final two cards for this reading for Scorpio. I'm getting Taurus energy, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini here. Thank you. We have the five of swords, more air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So I feel like you guys... I'm getting two energies here. Your person is wanting to put in the effort to rebuild the foundation that you guys once had. They don't want to fight, be petty, childish, and immature anymore. They're open to reconciling. Hopefully that you can forgive them. Another energy that I'm getting here is that you guys are trying to rebuild your own. You're trying to make the effort to try to move forward, rebuild your own foundation, be solid within yourself, and put in the groundwork to get yourself back on course. And you're taking your losses and moving forward. All right, final card for Scorpio. You may feel like this person abandoned the relationship. Final card is Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so what's at the bottom? Five of Wands, Temperance in the Reverse, Six of Swords. This person is wanting to fight for this relationship. They wanted to gain your attention again because they're kind of impatient with the temperance card here. They're a little impatient when it comes to reconciling, wanting to heal, forgive things because they're wanting to come back. They wanted to spend the block back towards you. But this has came to an ending. Yeah, because this person was very non-committal. King of Pentacles in reverse. You couldn't trust this person. They didn't show you that they can be the man, the woman that you need. They wasn't loyal. They're worshiping the 3D. This person still has a lot to learn with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. They're still very codependent on others. Emotionally manipulative here. Yeah. So even though they're wanting to get your attention again and possibly ask for forgiveness, I feel like you guys feel like this is a dead end with this relationship with Scorpio energy. I'm also getting another energy that since this person has walked away from you or you walked away from them, and you're suffered the loss, you're picking yourself back up by healing, releasing and letting this go, and actually focusing on your own foundation, rebuilding yourself as a person, so you can gain the victory, the success, the rewards that you deserve, okay? You're making an effort to put yourself back out there, possibly gain more attraction, get attention from others, taking your loss and just moving on, getting into your winning season after this person abandoning the situation, 
They deserted you, left you behind, neglected you in so many different ways. Some of you guys can be getting recognized by the public. You could have a public a public platform. Okay. Yeah, you just feel like this is a dead end. Yeah, maybe all you guys did was fight, argue, be disrespectful towards each other. And you're just tired. You want someone that's going to pour into you. You want someone that's going to give you hope, faith. Someone who's going to bring good fortune towards you. Someone who's going to pour into you like you're pouring into them. But things are very broken between you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, Scorpio. So this is what I have for you. Of course, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right. Cross watchers, of course, always switch the roles as necessary. So the signs that I'm seeing here. Is heavy Aquarius Libra Gemini. I do see Taurus here and Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell as well so you can be alerted as to when I post videos. Okay. Peace, love, and light to you guys. And I will see you later. Bye bye.